Hello and welcome back to This Is The Harp. Um, this is a series where I demonstrate different finger exercises and things you can do to increase your knowledge of where your finger is going, which is one of the greater challenges of um, playing the harp. It's, you have to always be thinking ahead of being able to be pre-placed on things. And um, that can be some, something that you train so that you're stronger and better at it. This exercise that I'm gonna show you today is one of my first ones I do in the morning or whenever I sit down to practice. And at first it seems like it takes forever. Uh, it gets easier, it gets faster as the more you do it. But I recommend going slow at first. I also, if you feel the need to go hands alone first, that's also recommended. Although part of this exercise is working the hands in opposition of each other. So you will find a similar set like this in the beginning of the um, book um, Exercises and Etudes by um, La Riviere, and uh, also similar things in in other in other um, exercise manuals for the harp. Okay, this is working pairs of fingers into you know like we're going to work one and two and two and three and three and four and combinations of them and moving together and against each other. I'll show you what I mean. First of all, second finger on C, thumb on D, same thing in the left hand, or you can do it hands separately here at first. The trick is you play your two, put it back on, place firmly as you play your thumb. Fully articulate the thumb, bring it back and around and on. Use the energy of one plane to place onto the other finger. So once you've done that, do it eight times. Then we're going to turn it around, thumb first, then second. Again, eight times. I'm only doing it four times. Okay, so I can't count. Then, um, works better if you do it eight times, or even ten, or even twenty. Oh my goodness. Next, we're going to move the right hand up to D and E. And keep the left hand on the D and the C. We're going to start with the Ds, so the inner fingers, and then go to the outer fingers. So the... You'll be plucky second on your right hand and thumb in your left, and then reversing. And again, reverse it. Play the outer fingers, the second in your left, the thumb in your right. closed it's a good thing okay we've done that one now we're going to do the same thing only but with just second and third finger this is going to be more challenging i recommend slowing down thumb and two we're used to working with those but just your two and your three this gets interesting again make sure your thumbs are up keep this the dangly bits here keep it relaxed don't Chonk it into your fist with every power in your being and don't let them be in the way either. Just relaxed. Again, play your three. Put it back on before you play your two. And again, use that force to rock them back and forth. each other inside ones first.
music. Next, we have four and three. Ooh, this was a tricky one. Fourth finger tends to be the weak finger for us harpists. And there's reasons for that, but um, it's not your fault. It's just the way we're made versus how the, harp, how the technique for the instrument's set up. So four on C and three on D and play the four first, put it back on. Stay comfortable with your repetitions. No, you build on this every day. And it's one of these, it's one of those magic exercises. Your facility will increase visibly every week you do this. So be diligent, be consistent, and you will get results. The next one is we're going to alternate the two and the three on the lower pitch. So we're going to start with two, then we're going to put three on. Play the thumb, then put the thumb on, play the three, put the two on. With your four this one <laughs> stick with me on this one okay play your four put your two on the C play the three put your thumb on the D play your two we put your four on the C it start with your thumb and your four thumb put on your three on the D then the two on the C then the, the D with the thumb today with this lovely little exercise that seems um, kind of simple and repetitive and yet it works and you will gain facility and strength and all of and individual um, independence of all your fingers so give it a try give it a couple weeks and you will see a result have a lovely day bye bye